Hi, I'm Aaron from Data Classroom, and I'm going to introduce you to statistics with the interactive analysis. So here we are with a data set open. You can see we have this data flow up here, preparation, visualization, statistics. This is a guide to help you in working with your own data. I'm gonna click on interactive analysis right here. You can see where the red circle appears. Uh, to open up the interactive analysis. And what this opened up is a checklist to help me prepare my data for a statistical test and uh, to help make sure I have an appropriate statistical test uh, selected. Now I'm gonna show you how to do a t-test with this. Currently you can do a t-test or a chi-square goodness of fit. Um, the t-test is the test you use if you wanna test for a significant difference um, in a numeric variable between two groups. So what we're gonna do in this example is compare the height between males and females and see if one group is taller or shorter than the other group on average. Um, so I'm gonna select T-test right here. And then the next ste steps of the checklist come up. I've, I've done some of this in advance for, for purposes of this demonstration, but you can, you can see that my whole checklist is green. I've selected appropriate variables. They're of the right type. So now we are ready to move on. Just scroll to the bottom there and I'm gonna click this purple analyze button uh, in the corner. Now, first thing we have to do is give our analysis a title. Um, so we'll call this height um, t-test example explainer. And then you want to state a research question. Now, this is important. If you're going to be applying statistics, you want to know what is the question you are you are asking when you do this math. And you can see here, because I've, I've chosen height as my dependent variable and sex as my independent variable, the computer is suggesting this question is height different between female and male. And this is an open-ended field. You can write whatever you want, but this is an appropriate way to write this question. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. And I click start analysis. And now I'm gonna jump into this other screen just to get you oriented with uh, the different panels on the screen. On the left here, you see the data, the raw data, each, each row in the data set is its own point. You can see the heights for females and males, and they're on that jittered dot plot where the, the horizontal configuration of the points is, is just random so we can see them all. You can see my research question is pegged to the top, is height different between male or between female and male. And then over here in the upper right, we have this, this dialog box, and we're gonna come back to here, but this is telling us what to do and, and think about at different steps as we work through the math of, of conducting this, this t-test. And down here, the lab notebook, this keeps a record of, of what we do. And at the end, we can export this to be the seed of a lab report, or it can be a, its own document. Um, and you can take that out through a, a download. You can open it as a, as a Word doc or as a Google doc. Um, so first thing here, are the groups different? The first three steps of this process are just going to ask you to use your eyes, slow down, and, and think about what, what you're seeing here from the data. And we do these kinds of visual, or we do these kinds of estimates all the time in mathematics, but I think we should do estimating and statistics more, more often. So there is no right or wrong answer. I'm just grabbing this slider. Are the groups different? And I just move this along until this caption matches, you know, what, what my eyes are telling me. And, you know, when I look at these female and males and I'm comparing height, I don't know, maybe I place it right here, you know, 0 0.14 in, means some indication the groups might be different. What I'm doing is I'm estimating the, the p-value. I don't need to quite understand how this works to do this, but you're just logging your visual impression. Um, kids are going to get much better at this as, as they go along and, and students of, of any age are going to start learning these, these estimation skills. I click done add notes, it logs it into the notebook, and I click next. Now I'm gonna do the same thing and it's asking me where is the mean for each group? So I'm gonna come over here, uh, these bars are slowly oscillating, I'm just gonna grab them and put them where I think the mean is for each group. Maybe this one is about right here. So I think the mean for males is slightly higher than it is for females. Um, I logged this in my notebook, and now the next step is to calculate the means. And now the computer is showing me, in fact, where the actual means are. And down here in the lab notebook, I can compare my estimates 
to the calculated means. And I can see, I, I was actually pretty good at estimating this. This tends to be a confidence booster for most students as the human eye tends to be very good at this of, of estimating where the mean is. So I go on to the next uh, step here where I'm gonna estimate the variation. And, and so we're gonna estimate the variation in, in units of standard deviation. And you can see the equation for standard deviation, but what is probably more helpful is this text says, now click and drag this shaded area until it covers two thirds of the point. So maybe that's about two thirds. And I don't know, maybe that's about two thirds. Um, I logged that into the notebook. And now I can see the computer calculated standard deviation. Here's what they actually are. They're not all that different from what you come up with from a visual estimate. And, you know, this this might not be quite as uh, as intuitive as estimating the mean, but I'm I can tell you from experience that students of any level are going to get um, reasonably proficient at this with with a little bit of practice. And now we're looking at this data this data set in a different way. We're comparing these two groups, female and male, in terms of where the means are and the variation around that mean. So when we go on to actually calculate the test statistic. Uh, and ultimately the p-value, everything's going to be tied to this, this animation. So here I'm going to measure the difference between means. We can see the mean height differs by 5.22 centimeters between males and females in this sample. And when we measure the variation, we're measuring this quantity called group variance. And again, there's an equation that drives this, but I think the important thing for a novice learner is to understand that the variation around the mean is what contributes to group variance. And so now we have 2.69 for our group variance. And when we calculate the T-score, what we're doing is simply dividing the difference in means by that group variance. So we represent this with the analogy of the scale, and you can see the scale tips back and forth, but ultimately it's tipped a little bit more toward the difference in means with a, a value of, of 1.9 for our test statistic called T. Uh, if these quantities had been equal, we would get a, a, a 1.0 for a T-score. And now we count the sample size. I'm gonna move this up to the top for a second and we'll just move it right here. Um, we count the sample size and this is where if you were doing this old school, you'd be going to a table and you'd be finding your degrees of freedom that comes from sample size and you'd be finding your T-score and you'd be lining them up to see what your P-value is. And in, in this case, you can see the P-value that, that came out of this model is 0 0.06. And so in the dialogue, it says, you know, your original um estimate was 0 0.14. That was my visual estimate. So how close were you? And you start thinking about that. And then you get some scaffolding to help you interpret that p-value. So it, here it says a p-value of 0 0.06 means some confidence the groups are different. And uh, this is important to note, this is not below that threshold for statistical significance, which is typically 0 0.05. This is just above that. But what I think seeing a p-value in this way does for students, students is it helps them understand that a p-value is not a yes or no answer to a question. It's simply just a measure of the strength of, of the evidence. So then you can go and you can write your conclusion in here. And you, you know your question was, is height different between female and male? And, and you can you know, start by, you know, in your conclusion, you could say something about the, you know, the mean height for, for males was, um, was greater than it was for females, but you know they they were not statistically different. Um, but you can you can couch that with some nuance, um, and and you know a, a value of zero point zero six should make you suspicious that there is a real difference between these, even if it doesn't reach the the threshold for statistical significance. So um, hopefully you write a really nuanced conclusion there, uh, and. Now you can strip the animation away. You can add another visual and add that to your notebook. And now um, you've got this notebook, which is a complete record of, of everything you did, what your visual estimates were, um, what the choice of test was, what the equations used were. You can download this document if you want to edit it further, um, or you can publish it as a, as a PDF. 
Um, but this is this is a record of, of what you've done. And I, I just want to point out that uh, pedagogically, this lab notebook will will give students this sort of scientific and technical language um, to communicate their findings, uh, e even though most of the instructions in the dialogue were, were in the simplest terms possible and we're, we're striving for sort of clear lay person communication. So um, we've heard from, from students of, of all different ages. We've heard from middle school science fair students uh, up, up to university students, you know, really diving into this in a statistics class. But we, we, we've heard from all of them that this will help your understanding of, of how the math works in a statistical test. Um, we have this available for T-Test and Chi-Square right now. So uh, with that, I will say uh, enjoy using statistics with the interactive analysis and uh, have fun exploring data classroom.